Um, yes, again, I said to him, but sorry if I'm asking if I can watch that. I actually was uh, up to five minutes or so. But yeah, the, um, the film continues to have an impact now. Like, I mean, there's people now that talk about it being a favourite film. It's just he's had a pretty good Liam Gallagher says it's his favourite film. Yeah. Um, what? Why? I mean, I suppose it's a bit of a to piece of string, but what do you think of the elements to it that, that, that makes it stay so long? So many generations of people continue to do so. Well, it's a funny one, man. It's a funny question. Why is it, you know, why is it kept going? And um, I think it's because of the mixture of music, sort of acting, wild acting, um, all mixed up together with a good story. And it's, it's just kept it going. And because it's about a cult, which is the mobs, um, and they seem to have got bigger over the years, somehow. I mean, I know they're all about 45 now, mobs, but there's a lot of them out there, and they're very, very keen on their lifestyle. They're really, like, you know, into it in a big way. And it's not an aggressive thing. Uh, they seem to be very sort of into their scooters, their clothes, and, and the film has become like, a piece of them. I think even if you're not a mod, it's about a community, a really strong community. And there's so much pain in all their lives, but they love each other so much. They're, they're holding together through the thick and thin of this <coughs> passage, this growing up and not understanding what life's about. And I think the film has time to go into depth with relationships. And in this day and age where the world moves so quickly with information and with news and stuff like that, I think generations sit down to watch this film and it's like, yeah, that's me, I feel like that. Oh, God, I've been through that. And there's a strong identity of that passage through the teenage years in the film that's so beautifully caught. And when you see the film, you look into all the actors' eyes and what is behind the eyes is alive and real. And I think that makes it a very special film. I think there's, a, there's an interesting juxtaposition of uh, the act and also the sense of humour that the film has, which is a very working class sense of humour. And I think it's that sense of humour we've lost from modern British cinema. Because it's, um, it's very far away, it's very clear, it's very funny. You know, just, it's the sense of humour. And Phil, the two films really worked on that. I know that they kind of, they kind of develop that sense of humour with the film that so I think people appreciate that. There's a film about a load of oiks, which, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's rare. Yeah. It is rare these days, and that's what people can grab hold of, I think. I think the modern movement is an archetypal youth movement. Well, we had Teddy Boys before, we had Punks, we had Soul Boys, we had New Romantics after. But it's really archetypal, it's about what you wear, it's about the music you listen to, it's about getting together with members of the opposite sex, it's about finding a little something that will help you dance through the night. All youth movements are about that to an extent, but in the modern movement it's very, very archetypal. And a lot of people have said, certainly to me, and uh, I'm sure the rest of us at times, that they became ones because they saw the film and that archetype of youth was in front of them there. They thought, I want some of that. And obviously, you know, with the playing of Jimmy Barfield, you know, the levels, the, the you know, the coming of age side of it and all the other things that you, and that's what we've all said here, it just becomes a complete kind of three-dimensional package.
if you did it, it got used. Most of the time it got used. I mean, in the party scenes, which I think is all improvised, we had to continue the little strings that connected us all. So we had to do it by how we were looking across the room or how we were eyeing up another character. And those little moments, you found your way into the edit by doing that. Because there's a lot of cast in that film. Yeah, it's quite interesting though, but you never get sort of written by the actors and paid to write a screen <laughs> about Funny that, is it? They call it improvisation. We did what was called a table read about a month ago, and Trevor said, My God, this script is rubbish. <laughs> it's not good, is it, lads? I think you're right. Yeah, you did. Did I stop there? It was you, yeah. I'm the only one who did actually speak the lines in the script. <laughs>